the next camp session in this session we are going to see fixed axis grading curve this fixed axis guiding curve is applicable whenever you are having undercuts and the region where you want to have a control tool path this operation will support the tools ball mill and lollipop cutter if you would like to take other type it will not support so for this particular thing i will take ball mill ball mill with 10 diameter you can create or if you have any library you can import to the from the library you need to specify cut area it is compulsory and whenever you not select any cut area it will not generate the tool path first of all you need to select the cut area then you have to go for cut pattern type drive drive geometry if you keep a constant offset if you are having only one guiding curve that time you have to take constant offset if you are having two guiding curves you need to take morphing so first i will show you morphing this is my one guiding curve go for add new this is my second guiding curve the cut pattern type i kept zigzag the cut order is from guiding 1 to guiding 2 sometime if you want from guiding 2 to guiding 1 you need to change it from here towards guiding 1 you need to keep if you want alternate direction then you can keep this alternate in outside in alternate it depends on your need right now i kept from guiding 1 so it will start from here and it will end up to here and step over and other thing you need to specify just i will generate tool path to show you how exactly it generates can you see here it has started from here and it is generating the tool path according to the my surface sometimes someone may say directly it is coming to a depth which is having a radius of this particular cutter for example i am using ball mill 10 then automatically it is coming 5 mm down uh, so if there is a lot of material is available then you may face there is a more spindle load in initial line so what you need to do you have to extend that particular tool path here in guiding curve you will get that option in a strategy lateral trim extend if you want to reduce then go for lateral trim if you want to extend then go for lateral extend both the sides if you want then you have to give from first guiding curve lateral extend and second guiding curve lateral extend so currently i will give only uh, in initial lines itself so i will here i will specify 5 mm you can give more than that also again i am regenerating the operation you can see the tool path is getting added sometime you want one air pass then if you want to increase the extension length you can increase it suppose take 10 mm you can see couple of air passes before touching to the surface like this you can extend the tool path or trim the tool path depending on your need sometime i don't want this much to be machined i want only small region in a cavity area lower cavity area that time you can give lateral trim here also you can mention lateral trim this option you will get in when while using morphing sometime you have only one guiding curve if you want to use that as your input and you start machining that time also you can do it change it to constant offset in some cases it's not possible to select two guiding curve so that time you can have constant offset if you learn this fixed axis guiding curve no it will be helpful you to understand variable guiding curve option in a multi axis constant offset i kept i have selected this guiding curve now you can see cut side we kept both 
I need to take right. How I came to know right? This is my uh, the, where here I am standing. My face is towards this uh, arrow direction, so it will be right side of my facing area. So I will take right and generate. Sometime if guiding curve starts from here, then you are standing here. Your direction is in this direction, so it will be left. Currently in this scenario, it is right. As I said earlier, only morphing will support this extend and uh, trim option. That's why it is giving alarm. Now you can see the toolpath is generated with only one guiding tool. In some cases, if you are having a curve, it's open type here. I want to generate toolpath for this particular face. My input guiding curve will be like this. If I keep constant offset, here I will keep both sides. I want to machine both the sides. You can see in the image itself, both the sides means both the direction of the uh, both sides of the guiding curve. Left means only left side, right means only right side. Right now, in this scenario, I will keep both the sides. Can you see if you give a constant offset then the flow of the cutter is in the direction of my guiding curve and also it is making up to the entire surface. If you want a smooth then you can reduce step over. There are many options which are available here apart from this you can say race track around the guiding guide which is in this image also you can observe. I have changed my cut pattern type. You can see it's, it's like a race track. The name itself indicates mark for own mid, mid pass. Someone who are facing a difficulty of this non cutting moves, if you want to avoid that, that time you have to use this mark for own mid pass. Can you see it's a single entry, single exit currently. It is starting from outside and it is coming towards the center. Uh, if you want to reverse, want to start from center and go to towards outside, that time you have to take in inside out. For hard materials, always we try to go from center to the outside. So that's why inside out I kept generate, regenerate. Any changes if you do make sure you will do regenerate operations then only it will be effective now it is starting from center and it is going away from the center the direction clockwise anti-clockwise you need to decide depending on the need the fifth option is offset around the mid pass Can you see? Like this, you will get a toolpath. Here I kept extend guide curve to cut area edges, means it will completely, it will try to machine in the same direction. If you turn off this one, then you may observe difference here you can see right now it is going like this if you take extended cut area it will come exactly it will try to maintain zigzag so in main node whatever comes it's very important and uh, from here itself you can control many things in geometry if you go you can give a part stop if you are doing semi finish by using this guiding curve you can mention a 0 0.1 0 0.2 material that will be left behind wall geometry you want to specify you can specify in process work if you want to turn on you can turn it it all depends on you axis sometime if you are doing a positional axis machining like 3 plus 1 
3 plus 2 machining that type if you are doing instead of z axis if you want in some other direction that time you need to specify vector here you need to take normal to the face or the plane then you need to select the face automatically it will take normal to that direction if it is tilted or something it's uh, it, it will give you a output of positional 3 plus 1 machining if it is having a tilt right now it is exactly normal to the z direction so not needed to change the tool axis whenever there is a collision happens then what you need to do for safety reason you have to keep retract whenever there is a collision it will get retracted otherwise if you are more cautious you can see the collision and you can correct yourself every time you are reading the messages which software gives that time you need to give report collision so what it will do whenever there is a collision it will give you alarm there is a collision found then you have to go back to the main and other changes you need to do like a cut area guiding curve then again you need to regenerate and check if you are doing ok ok for messages without watching that in detail that time it is better to keep retract so automatically whenever it comes it will get retracted and also you can specify the angle with which it will tilt and it will go feed and speed you need to specify in strategies as already i have explained you uh, if you are having extended other thing you have to specify that will be supported for morphing so whenever you want to uh, you are cutting undercut region then keep allow undercut for undercut region always keep in mind use lollipop cutter to have machining uh, some people will prefer this operation to uh, machine back radius and other thing in non cutting smoothing you always turn on the smoothing option so so that whenever there is a near option it will go by smoothing option and also right now it is coming only one pass if you want multiple passes uh, if 1 mm or 2 mm material is there that time you can specify that material type uh, how much material is there and you have to specify suppose if I give 2 mm here if I turn on this multi depth cut option if I mention here 0.5 means every every time it will go 0 0.5 0 0.5 up to 2 mm depth like this you have to do collision check always turn on Thank you. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, press bell icon so that you will get the updates whenever I upload the video. Thank you for subscription.